call them. Uh, we got some fantastic hip hop. Hopefully this goes well. But this is why Drake is scared of Kendrick Lamar. Let's see why, man. With it being well over a week since Kendrick Lamar dissed Drake in a fashion like we have never seen before, we've not seen a response from Drake or Jaco. It's clear that while in the past, Drake may have been quick to clap right back at any rapper who's right challenged. Back. Now, when it comes to Drake, since the entire world has stopped as Kendrick Lamar violated him in a way that people have been waiting to see. That's the truth. But NFR has said Drake and Jaco can outdo what Kendrick Lamar has done so far. But what's next? The rapper who once made fun of somebody like Meek Mill with a line like trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers has pretty much now done the exact same thing. And this lack of Aye. It seems like he's doing everything else but getting in the studio and sending back shots. And when you understand why- It seems like that because that's how it is. Now in the past, Drake either beefed with targets that were too easy to destroy like Meek Mill or even when they were lethal and damaged his reputation Wait, in the hip hop world like That's a harsh one. were never big enough to stain his image to the entire world, but now, with not just Kendrick Lamar, but also Metro That's a Boone tough one. Future and beyond that, Rick That's Ross a tough one. Even Kanye That's West a tough one. against him at one time. Drake is against a series of titans where if he makes one wrong move, everything that his brand stands for can potentially be destroyed. Now while Kanye West It'd be tough, out man. Drake, what's really causing him to move differently than he ever has is the looming threat of Kendrick Lamar, who didn't just throw some of the most lethal shots that have ever been targeted his way on one of the most successful chart-topping songs that rap has ever seen and like that. But on top of the shots that have kicked this feud into full gear, Kendrick allegedly already has another full-length diss track on Drake ready to go. Already? ...and could be career-ended. What for? <laughs> what for, man? Drake has good verses, but he feels like his tweets are better. He feels like his posts are better on social media. He feels like he gotta speak like a man. He feels like he gotta be in a sexy red video to be like, ah, but Kendrick not in this video. But they didn't rush for gonna pie. With Drake having nothing to dig up, the only way he is gonna be able to respond to Kendrick is by using his lyrical ability to write up the most. Clever That's the and truth. What do you even say though? Cause you, that you have to come for future if you're gonna diss Kendrick Lamar in Drake's shoes. Now, while Drake is a pretty solid lyricist, it doesn't take an expert to tell you that Kendrick Lamar is miles better than him. So at this point, that's the truth. I think we shouldn't expect Drake to release another song like Back to Back because he can't, as there is nothing he can dig up on Kendrick to attack his character. And if he releases something, I know that like you gotta be a thug for it. This ain't what you mean when you tell you open up more. There's nothing that Kendrick can has, bro. That Drake can say something like that again. Drake just likes to have his own, his mix and masters weak, bro. With Lamar and so many other heavyweights moving against him, what Drake may do is release an entire too many men or even to invalidate Kendrick Lamar's shots by releasing a body of work that shows Drake being a genuinely great rapper. Do it again, man. Recently dropping a record like Scary Hours 3, which showed us that he definitely can still rap, and with that, over some pretty amazing beats. Do it again. While it most likely won't give him a win over Kendrick Lamar. It will definitely give him a respectable chance at standing his own, and as this beef is really here for Kendrick, to at least he's certain. The post ain't it. It's only a competitive. You're acting like it's real, bro. You moving scared. You moving scared of Kendrick. But Kendrick ain't saying that he's gonna kill you, bro. I did. As a kid with all these knives, he's gonna see Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. Putting Drake and even J. Cole on blast now. They, along with every other player in the rap world, has to show up with their absolute best material or not show up at all. J. Cole, man. Regardless of Drake's fear, this can either make or break his career as it can show him to be a fraud MC who may be able to dish out disses but can never actually respond when the pressure's at an all time high, or it can show off his greatness in a way that we have never seen before as with the threat of being humiliated by his biggest rival. And after all these albums that haven't fell through the way that they should, you might need to come back bro. It will truly indicate to us the type of rapper who he is, as we'll find out if he deserves respect as a legitimate force in the hip-hop world who will always defend their honor, or if he's a fraud who's too afraid of damaging their image to even respond to one of the biggest threats they've ever received. Are you the sixth god or the si are you the sixth, the, the sixth, uh, sixth disciple? But as time unfolds and rumors spur around the industry that Drake is working on new material that very well could be headlined by a response, all we can do at this point is wait and see how Drake tries to destroy the rapper who deep down inside, he is terrified of. Now, only 
Aye. He needs a max win. Aye. Let's see how Drake moves, man. Let's... We're only in March. Let's see how the rest of the year it turns out for Drake. He has 21 Savage on his side, at least. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Drake Hole. All he needs is a max win. Let's see how the rest of the year folds out for Drizzy Jake. For Drizzy Drake. And maybe for Kendrick again, but I, is that... Would that happen again? Is that just a rumor? Because it is April Fool's, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's call them. Like and subscribe. <laughs>